Hi, this is Jeff Ballinghausen. I'm one of the engineers at Valve who's working on the controller project. Um, we wanted to put together a gameplay video that shows how the controller is used in a number of different types of games. So we have some first-person shooters, some strategy games, um, and some other just mouse pointer type games. Um, we're going to try and put together um, these updates pretty frequently. So if you have any questions about what you're seeing here, about any other types of games you'd like to see, um, go ahead and let us know in the comments. So the first game we're going to show you is Portal 2. Um, one of the most important features of the controller is that the two trackpads are fully configurable. What we're showing here is what we call legacy mode, which is playing a game that hasn't been modified at all to support the controller. So this is just standard keyboard and mouse style uh, Portal 2. But the controller is acting like a mouse and keyboard and um, is mapped to output keyboard events that Portal expects. Since the two trackpads can be configured independently, we use the right hand pad here to do a one-to-one -one view control mode. Um, it's important to distinguish between a like a joystick which does a relative or velocity based movement and this one-to-one -one mode where we can directly move your thumb a fixed amount of distance on the pad and the view will correspond with the fixed amount of distance. At the same time, the left pad is configured like a D-pad where it's divided up into pie-shaped segments where up and down is the W and S keys and left and right are the A and D keys, so we can walk around like you would with a, a walk joystick. You are not alone. All The next game we wanted to show you is Civilization V. Um, this is a great game for playing on the couch, but um, in the past it's been pretty difficult unless you wanted to prop a keyboard in your lap. So the way we have the controller bound for this game is on the left, the D-pad is set up to control the camera using the arrow keys, and the right pad is uh, a one-to-one -one mouse pointer. The bottom buttons are bound to zoom in and zoom out, so along with the left pad arrow keys, it makes for a very fluid way to zoom around the map and zoom in and look at your units. Here I'm using the grab button to just grab the train directly and push it around using the one-to-one -one mouse control. The next game we're showing here is uh, Valve's Counter-Strike Go. Um, this is a run through the training course to kind of show the precision capabilities of the trackpads. One of the neat things about the controller is that it allows you to play first-person shooters without any kind of auto-aim turned on. This course is all about speed and go, go, go. Faster. There you go. Good job. This next demo is a game called Papers, Please. It's a predominantly mouse-driven game, and so we can use both trackpads to control the mouse alternately. Um, the two mouse movements get blended together, so I can move with my left thumb and then my right thumb, and it allows you to do a really quick walk across the screen. It's a very comfortable way to control games that need to move the mouse very precisely and yet over large distances of the screen. So that's it for today's update. Uh, let us know in the comments if there's other types of games you'd like to see.